Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we'll be in Google AdSense and I will be showing you how to create and edit ads that convert. So what do I mean by convert? Well, when you put Google AdSense ads on your website, on your blog, whatever it may be, you need ads that are going to work and ads that are going to really make the viewer or the person who is at your website or blog want to click them. So not only do they need to be relevant, but they need to be the color of which your website is. They need to be probably the similar to the same font that your website has. So I'm going to show you how to go into Google AdSense and edit your ads. So the first thing you want to do is log into your Google AdSense account and up at the top left hand corner the second link says my ads. Now once you are here you will then see the new ad unit button right up at the top of the screen. Click on new ad unit. Now once you are here, you are prompted to this screen here, which will be where you create the ad that will be used on your website or blog. So what you see here, the ad size, now there are multiple ad sizes here, okay? You need to decide for the page that you're working on which size ad will work for you. So if you go here, you can actually view examples of the types and sizes of ads that AdSense provides you with. Once you have clicked on that link, You'll need to wait a few seconds because sometimes it does take a little while to load. It will then show you all of the different types of text, video, uh, display ads, mobile ads, link units that are available. So as you see here, this is a leaderboard 728 by 90 ad. This is a banner ad 468 by 60. You got a half banner, a button ad, uh, wide skyscraper, skyscraper, and then you can go to display ads right here. So this is a 720 by 90 display ad, and then you can go to video ads, which will actually show you the video ads that are used by AdSense. And then there are another option here called link units. Now link units are very valuable. If you have a web page and you're creating a blog post, these are very good to have at the bottom or at the very top of the post because these look as if they're links from your website. Now, I will say this, you do not in any way want to cheat the system. If you do, and you do not abide by the rules that AdSense provides, you will be banned from using AdSense, and when you are banned from using AdSense, it does last for a long, long time. Some people say it is indefinite and you will no longer be able to use AdSense to publish ads any longer, ever. Uh, so do not, and I repeat that, do not do anything that will upset Google because once Google is mad at you it's gonna be hard to get it back so anyways there's some different examples of the different kinds of ads you can create so let's say we want to create a nice four uh, excuse me a 468 by 60 banner ad and we want it to be a text ad only the ad type option here allows you to select text ads text and image rich media ads or just image and media ads only. So for this, the purposes of this video, I'm gonna select a text ad only. Now, backup ads, you can show blank space, show other ads from another URL, or fill space with a solid color. Color. I normally go ahead and select the show blank space, because it goes back to, if you're showing another ad that's not relevant to your content, it's really not gonna do you any good, and it's gonna look out of, out of place as if you're spamming ads on your website. So right down here is where we get into the meat of the content this is where you can really customize and edit your ads so they give you all kinds of different templates to go by you got the google default the classic gray the high contrast black the high contrast white and the modern white the google default is a very good selection but i'm going to go ahead and select the modern white now as you see over here in the right this is what your ad is going to look like like in its current state but if we go over here and go to use custom settings we then can change the color the border the font and anything else we may want to change so to change the border just click on the border color here and if you have a website that is themed around a nice green color well you can then change the border of that ad to green and that will make that ad look very very in sync with the content on your website if you click on the title color, you can even change the title color. So if you're doing a post and it's around Christmas time and it's about something about Christmas, you could even do a red and green theme for your ad. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the text at a nice black color. 
You can even go here and change the background color to something that you want. So if you want it to be a blue color or the same green color, you can do that. Now what I normally do to create ads that convert is I do not even use any type of background and I actually take the border and I change it to whatever the background color is of my website. So if the background color of your website is gray, you would want it to be gray. If it's white, you want to keep it at white. So by eliminating the border in the background, it looks just like a regular link within a post. So that's kind of what I recommend. Now, the URL color, I normally leave at a blue color. Now, if your theme of your website is a different color or a specific color, you then can go and change your URL color to whatever you may want it to be. I leave it at blue. The corner style is if you have a border, you can actually have rounded corners and you can even have like a circular type border around your ad as well. The font family and font size, you can go here. I normally keep the AdSense default font family, but you can actually change it to Arial, uh, Times, and Verdania depending on the preferences you may have. And you can also change the font size and make it bigger. You can go medium, large, or just use the AdSense default font size. I normally don't go any larger than the default size because when you do it just, again, looks as if you're spamming ads on your site. So to create ads that convert, you want ads that are not only relevant, but ads that are really fitting in with your content. If you have a post and you're putting in a 468 by 60 banner and you don't have a border or a background around it, but you put it at the bottom or in the center of your post, it's gonna look as if this is a link to some more content. And that is what you want. You want stuff that is relevant to your viewers. You don't want them to click an ad and then immediately come back because eventually you will get less payment for that click. So let's say you initially get 30 something cents from that click. Well, if the viewers are coming immediately back to your site or closing out of that site entirely, you are really going to have a decrease in your cost per click. So I would not do that. I want ads that are gonna make my customers go to a place or a destination where they are gonna stay for a while. So make sure they're relevant, make sure they look good, and make sure they're the same color and theme and style as your website. Now I will do another video at a later date showing you how to implement these ads into your website, but for now, focus on creating ads that are really gonna make your customers want to click the ads. That is the main goal of the ads. And it's not for you to necessarily just make money. It's for people to actually go to destinations that will be very useful to the content that they're going to see once they get to that website. So if you have any questions about this or how to create an ad in AdSense, put them in the comment box below. I answer all questions and concerns. And guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. It does help me out. And I will see you guys next time.